Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to tell you why I think that Visa is a top Dow dividend stock to buy in September. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, all right, so just to give you a little bit of context, Visa was a, a, a top pick from a lot of analysts in August. People love this company. When it comes to Dow Jones Industrial Average and dividend stocks, this is a fantastic company. Visa's stock remains undervalued this month and presents a compelling buying opportunity, and that's exactly what I wanna talk about today. So let's first of all talk about the impact of those lower interest rates on Visa because we, we're expecting some lower interest rates around the corner. Let's talk about it. E economists are predicting that the Federal Reserve is going to lower interest rates in September, which is going to benefit consumers that are looking to finance large purchases. Here's the thing though, and here's the, here's the implications, guys. Lower interest rates spur spending and economic growth, right? reversing the Fed's high rate strategy, which is aimed at controlling inflation. But while it's beneficial to many companies, lower interest rates don't guarantee faster growth for Visa specifically. Let's look at their business model. Visa profits from transaction volumes. The more consumers that use Visa cards, the more revenue that Visa generates. And unlike banks, which benefit from high credit card balances through interest, Visa thrives through consumers using their cards frequently and paying off their balances in full. So it's a little bit different than traditional banks. And then we, I do have to mention the recession concerns. While economic growth is advantageous for Visa, a recession could actually negatively impact transaction volumes, leading to a slight decline in Visa stock despite broader market optimism. So just keep that in mind. But let's talk about Visa's foothold, guys, in the global payment processing industry. The shift from cash to digital payments, we're talking about credit, debit cards, mobile payments, is a key driver for Visa's long-term success. This is the big thing that's driving them is our, is our push away from cash and towards digital payments. And when it comes to their market position, Visa's extensive global network and partnerships with financial institutions make it a leader in payment processing. The only thing is Visa has to balance credit card acceptance fees with the potential loss of sales for merchants who choose not to accept Visa. So Visa has to walk that fine line of we want to charge a fee because that's how they get paid with not charging too much of a fee because then the merchants have to pay it. Now, uh, they are looking to expand internationally. Uh, they are expanding internationally. Visa continues to grow internationally while maintaining its dominance in the United States, capturing more than half of the purchase volume on general purpose credit cards in 2022. And they've got partnerships, Visa strategic alliances with banks, financial institutions in developed and emerging markets are crucial guys for maintaining and expanding its market share. Now, it really, we have to talk about valuation and growth potential because if we're gonna buy some Visa stock, then we need to know, is it a good buy? Here's the metrics, guys. Visa traditionally trades at a premium because of its lower risk profile compared to banks, okay? But current valuation metrics, including a forward P ratio of only 24, suggests that Visa is undervalued right now relative to its historic averages, which is why we're even talking about it today because I think that it's, it, it's essentially on sale this month, and that's why I think it's such a great buy. Visa's strong profitability supports its significant stock repurchase program and increasing dividends. Now, they only have a dividend yield right now of 0.8%, but Visa's focus on share buybacks effectively increases the shareholder value. And the low payout ratio, 21.5%, indicates ample room for future dividend growth 
alongside continued stock repurchases. And they have that competitive advantage and they are a resilient company. Visa has estab- Visa's established position, guys, in the payment processing industry provides a significant competitive edge. Now, there are some challenges, right? Visa faces competition from alternative payment methods like PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, cryptocurrencies. But despite these challenges, many digital payment options still rely on Visa's processing network in the background. So when we look to the future, Visa is well positioned, guys, to capture additional market share, especially internationally, and it's likely to remain resilient even during economic downturns, downturns which could happen in the near future. So here's the investment thesis. Visa's robust business model, their competitive advantage, their attractive valuation all of these things make it a compelling buy for september here's a long-term prospect visa's ability to navigate economic cycles their ability to expand into their global presence these are the things that are ensuring that it remains a strong investment choice for the future now i have to say guys i have not personally bought into visa yet if you want to know what stocks i am buying Subscribe to the channel, guys, because I post a video every week telling you what stock I am buying that week. And if you like this video, leave a big thumbs up for more videos like this. And guys, leave a comment down below because I love to read y'all's opinions, your thoughts, what you think about Visa, and really just stocks in general. So anyway, y'all have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take it easy, and peace.